In this video, we're going to be talking about endorsements and how you do those in Genesis Now if your agency utilizes downloads and also what the process would be if your agency does not utilize downloads. So first and foremost, you would want to go into the policy that you're wanting to endorse. For this example, we'll utilize this auto policy. So you can see that the carrier on the current policy is progressive. In the company profile for Progressive already, I put a website link in the company's profile under companies. All companies is where you would go to do that and access the Progressive profile and embed the link in that profile and it'll link you over. So best word of advice is if you do have downloads, you would go over to the carrier site and add the vehicle or make whatever endorsement it is that you need to do for this specific policy, do that from the carrier site. Again, that will link you over. And then once you've done that endorsement on the carrier site, always want to just put a note in here and you can add in a note here. You can even attach a media file if you want to. So it could be something like endorsements. And you can put e. Last pay E Wells Fargo or whoever your finance company is, you can save and suspense this. That way it will populate as a reminder to check back and follow up on the suspense. So I can put this in for the next day just to check and make sure that it did in fact come through in downloads that the policy change did go into effect. And the receiver. Perfect. And we'll save the policy. So that's the process that you would do if you utilize downloads at your agency. And if you do not utilize downloads at your agency, what you do is come in here and make the policy change. So let's say in this example, again, the endorsement is we're adding a new vehicle to this policy. So you can click the plus sign here. And I already have a VIN number that I pulled over from a car website just to show you. And we put in all the coverages, save and close. And again, you would want to notate this policy. And then from there, you would follow your normal process, whether that is emailing the underwriter to let them know about the policy change, whatever the case may be, or if there is a accord form that you send over to the carrier, you could do that as well. So from inside of this policy, you type in a keyword like change. Notice that we have a policy change request form in here for accords for all except auto. We have one for personal auto. We have a commercial policy change request. So you could utilize that accord form and send that over to underwriting as well, whatever your process is. And again, we would want to put in a suspense just to follow up and make sure that we get an updated deck page from our carrier or whatever our normal process is just to make sure that the change did in fact go into effect on the policy. So please let us know if you have any questions. We hope this was helpful.